Oh, howdy. Just to give you a heads up, this is aimed more towards the endurance side of things rather than the motorcycle things. Just so you know what you're getting into here. Okay, as I mentioned before, I'm also involved in a, a lot of stuff like adventure racing, off-road triathlons, mountain bike racing, trail running, stuff like that. So I'm always kind of keeping my eye out to see what's going on. One thing I ran across on the, uh, the internet is this company bucked up, said that they had an endurance stack. Now when I saw it included a pre-workout, that immediately raised a red flag to me. Now pre-workouts pre I've dealt with in the past and I still use from time to time are great for when you're doing the weightlifting. You're trying to get max weight lift and things like that. They're also pretty good in uh, some of the shorter CrossFit workouts to do. But when it comes to endurance racing, I've had some really bad experiences with them. When you're uh, doing multi-hour endurance racing, a lot of times I judge my the work output based on my heart rate. That way I'm not overextending myself too early on and have nothing left for the finish. Mm -hmm. The last time I tried using a conventional pre-workout, I took it, got up on the line, and a couple of minutes into it, I checked my watch and I saw uh, that I was already in zone four and I really, really needed to slow down. Trouble was that uh, I was still gridded up and we hadn't started yet. About 15 minutes into that particular race, where I was not going any faster than anybody else, I was completely burned out and shot, and uh, the next couple of hours were just pretty terrible. So I did what any one of you ought to do anytime you're thinking about buying a supplement. Went over to the webpage, skipped all the advertising, went straight to the ingredients list. One thing I liked about Buffed Up is they tell you what's in it. There's no super secret formulas or stuff like that. They give you a list of what they put in it, and you can go ahead and start searching and find out what each of these ingredients are. It impressed me enough that I went ahead and uh, bought the whole stack. I'm going to see how it works. They got three different parts to their stack, and I'm going to go ahead and cover them piece by piece. First one, branch chain amino acids. Say so it's for during and after in the race. Well, it doesn't hurt to take it a little bit beforehand. Branch chain amino acids are solid. Peer reviewed science has backed them for endurance for a long time. They have it in a good two to one to one ratio. I'm not gonna go butcher the names of the amino acids They have them on the package, and what's more, they have them on their website, so you can actually just pull up the ingredients list, look at, cross-reference it. The amino acids they're using are good, solid amino acids. They work, they've been working for years, no problem there. Now, they added a couple of extra things in there that I thought were kind of neat. Okay, now one of them is a coconut water. I think they mean coconut water extract on the account of this as a powder. But I have been a big proponent of coconut water for hydration, rehydration for a long, long time. In fact, my wife sells it at the CrossFit events we go to. So, and it's very popular, and the reason it's very popular is it works. So, adding that to this is nothing but a good thing. There's one other thing in here that is, I was kind of surprised to see Himalayan salt. I've always been a big proponent of Himalayan salt. I have been for more than a decade. It has a lot of trace minerals that you need. Back in my house, I've always got Himalayan salt laying around. I always make sure I get some every day for, just for the trace minerals, so Putting Himalayan salt in this is also nothing but a good thing. 
And that's it for the ingredients for this. Everything in it is good. Everything in it is stuff I use. That's right on the money as far as I'm concerned. This is long range. This is their hydration drink for when you're out doing your event. To make a point of mentioning that this does not upset your stomach, that would be a good thing. I've been to way too many events, marathons, triathlons, really extended mountain bike races where they've had the usual aid station en route with the Gatorade mixed way, way, way too strong and lukewarm water sitting beside it. And you kind of do the thing where you gab one cup of each and drink them both and hope they mix up normal in your stomach. Never quite seems to work. And Sometimes you lose all that hydration a few miles down the road. And now the last one, the one that kind of got my interest in this whole thing to begin with, full bore. This is their pre-workout supplement. Now, like I said before, the whole term pre-workout supplement for endurance raises all kinds of red flags to me. The other two supplements, solid stuff, solid formulas, things I've used in the past, think they'd stand on their own. This one here, I went in with a lot of skepticism, but absolutely two things jumped right out at me, two very important things. First one right there. It's not a stimulant. If it was a stimulant, I probably would have closed the page and not even looked at the other ones. Now when you flip it around, go to the ingredients list, buried down all the way here at the bottom, probably because it doesn't sound that sexy, it's probably the most important ingredient in this supplement right there, beetroot extract. I've been taking beetroot extract. Let me tell you, that stuff is the real deal. Peer-reviewed science says it works. Professional racing teams use it. I'll go ahead and add a link in the notes to a Trainer Road episode where they talk about it. That's the real deal. That is an actual endurance supplement that you take before racing that works. Now, there's a couple of notes about beetroot extract. You'll find it in the Trainer Road episode, but I just want to go ahead and mention it here because their podcasts get really down in the weeds and really down in the science, and not everybody can hang with that. So there's a, two things you need to know about the beetroot extract. First thing is you got to go through a loading phase with it, kind of like you do creatine. Preload with it, it gets the nitrous oxide in your system, it works. I'm thinking that if you can find beetroot extract cheaper, maybe you could preload with that. I don't know if it's cheaper than this, but uh, it's the beetroot extract that you need to preload. The one other thing that you need to know that if you take a large dose of caffeine before the race, it's going to cancel out all the effects of the beetroot extract. So if you're doing the really long stuff, especially like multi-day adventure racing where taking caffeine in the midst of it is a standard thing, you need to really time it with your nutrition to figure out so you don't wipe out all the benefits of this. but they are using a solid things there. I'm not gonna to torture you with trying to pronounce these other names. Uh, like they say uh, on their webpage, this may help. Some of the other stuff, the sciences, uh, hasn't been certified yet. Some studies are showing benefits and some studies are not showing benefits but generally all the stuff they're using helps. Now the one thing they did, which is a little bit different than all the others, 
they do have a proprietary mushroom blend. Now I'm not sure how much that stuff helps. I went and I read and there's a lot of stuff that says it really does help and there's a lot of stuff that says it's generally ineffective. I don't think they really added that much of it to this ingredient list so if it helps it helps and if it doesn't I don't think it's gonna hurt. But the key thing for me is the beetroot extract. If they're running that, they're serious about this stuff. This actually is an endurance pre-workout. Now, you ain't going to take it and suddenly pop full of energy and do stuff. But you will take it if you preloaded the beetroot juice enough, either with this or separately using this in conjunction with it. It is going to help. I'm actually uh, kind of surprised and impressed. Looks like they have something here that uh, is real and they're just about the only pre-workout endurance formula that I've found at all that wasn't all loaded up with stuff that's going to make me bonk 15 minutes into a mountain bike race. Well that's it. I think they actually have something here that's useful. I got a 48 hour run this weekend. I'm going to go ahead and use this stuff on it. Try it out, see if it works, and I'll get back to y'all and let you know. But from the ingredients list, looks pretty promising. Well, that's it for now. I will catch y'all later.